All right, we're back with you inside of the Africa Forum. It's Running African. In this segment of the program, we're going to be going to students at the University of the West Indies, uh, Lisa Sutton and uh, Alisa Richards. They are the co-founders of the new African club to be launched at UWE called the Club Africa. All right. Let's go to the lines where Lisa and Alicia are standing. Good morning, Lisa. How are you? Good morning, Good morning, Alicia. Get used to it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, Alicia, uh, Lisa, let me just congratulate you. You have been working on this for a very, very long time, I know. And you are very persistent in ensuring that this get off the ground. What made you... Is this the first um, club Africa named... Uh, uh, I know you've had many Pan-African clubs at, at UWE over many, many years. But is this the, the first one with called an African club, Af Club Africa? Was there one before? Is this the first one? And I, I, I may stand for it, but I think so. There, there was the Marcus Garvey movement mm -hmm. some years ago, but I think this is the first Club Africa. All right, so you're actually starting this from the ground. What, what yeah. made you, what did you decide to do this? And when, when you told me about this actually, and not about it from other persons that you, um, a few months ago, I had just come from a reasoning at Erna Broadbur's Black Space in in um, in Woodside, and one of the things we had discussed was the need for Pan African clubs at the tertiary levels and also the primary levels, but definitely at the tertiary level. At the time, not knowing that you were actually doing this, what led you to do this? Well, it was basically hmm, a vision, a shared vision. Um, when I came to the university, to see anything that I wanted to really time and energy in, mm -hmm. and uh, there was this, there was this transformation going on in the air. You know, with students getting more Afrocentric, more African oriented. And so the idea came to me, and I said, I felt that there were others having the same feeling of wanting to think about their black, their black. identify yeah. with, and so I just um. Had only the name basically, I only had the name, but nothing yeah. else. And I just went upstairs yeah. saying, You're interested in this, in this can come on board. And these students, they just asked me, they, they emailed me and said, Hey, we love this, we can't wait. Long time wanted this, let's meet and get started. So, right, so you had, so a, you had a pretty good response. And Alicia was one of those persons? Yes, I was. So, Alicia, yes. when, what did you see? Was it a flyer or did you hear about it otherwise? I saw a flyer and I signed my name up. But it's so ironic that uh, we lived on the same hall last year. Okay. And, you know, <laughs> you emailing each other back and forth. We didn't even know who we were talking to. Oh. Until <laughs> okay. eventually we found out, I know, we know each other from the living previously on the same hall and the rest is history. Okay, <laughs> the, the rest is Club Africa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so tell me about Club Africa, sir. What, what is it? What, 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 what tenets um, are the club, the club founded on? Is it, do you? Uh, is it Pan African? Is it um, more nationalistic? Okay. What kind well, of club it, is it? it? Yeah. It's big. Sorry, it's a very big umbrella. It's yes. all about Africa, African culture. Mm -hmm. The primary aim is to promote the truth about Africa, her people, and her contribution to world civilization, because I know that due to the American media, there are many, many misconceptions and erroneous beliefs about Africa mm -hmm. in the dark continent and all that bad stuff which we are very much accustomed to. Mm -hmm. so that's the main mm -hmm. objective, the main mm -hmm. aim of Africa. Okay. Promote the truth, mm -hmm. the truth about, um, about Africa and her people. You know, we more aware and accept that, you know, we're all Africans, you know, living mm -hmm. in Jamaica. <laughs> what what do you what, that side of us. what do you currently um get just anecdotally from the university campus generally in terms of how people respond to the African identity or not? Well, basically the general perception you're asking of. Mm -hmm. Tell them about, it, 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 here you have Club African, you're saying that one of the aims is to ensure that people tap into their African identity, learn the truth about ourselves, about Africa, and mm -hmm. begin to identify ourselves um, uh, as Africans. I'm wondering, what's the situation, generally speaking, maybe among your peers, because you can't talk for the okay. entire university, you is a big, big campus, but among your peers, what are you getting? What's the feel, the feeling in terms of whether or not people identify themselves as Africans, they want to know about Africa, or do, are people identifying as Jamaican and are more uh, Eurocentric in their outlook? Hmm, no, there's a mixture. Yeah. Yeah, I would say there's a mixture. Right now, from my, from my experiences, I would say that 
the majority of university students are they're 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 not they're not unaware. Yeah. Everybody yes, our parents were slaves or they came from Africa, but they're not aware of the legacy mm-hmm. that we in Africa. That's what they're not aware of. Okay. And no person in terms of identity, most times you have to say, Yes, I'm African but I'm Jamaican. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you know it's kind of that mm-hmm. Identity, yeah, right. Right, there. right, and it's, it 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 reflects um, the society generally that um, we are not making the distinction between race and nationality, so that we identify our nationality as Jamaican, but to identify a race to which we belong, that there is some ambivalence there. So I, I told this is what's happening with among your peers, really reflecting the thinking in the society. I think. All right, so. How will this club function? You are the founding president for now, Lisa? Yes, president founding member for now. Yes. And um, Alia, you are the treasurer? I am. Right. And I know you have a constitution and everything. Yes, yes, we do. Yes. Right. So your start is... Yes, we do. make it clear for student services and development mm-hmm. and the build of UA Mona. All right. You also have a teacher, lecturer who are advisors to the club. Do you want to talk about that? Well, sure, no. A good list of, of, of um, staff advisors, mm-hmm. good in quality more numbers. Mm-hmm. Right now we have just to name a few, Dr. Michael Barnett, Dr. from the Social Department, Dr. Clinton Hutton from the same department, Dr. Imani Safari, Amma, Amma, yes, and uh, Caroline Cooper and mm-hmm. some others. It's a very good group. Yes, quality group. yes, yes, you do have a quality group. <laughs> <there. laughs> All right. So uh, the, 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 the club is going to be launched when? So right now, the the date that we're looking at is the 25th, the 25th of September. Okay. However, the, the other details are yet to be confirmed. As soon as they are confirmed, we'll pass on them. To oh, that is fine. We look forward to that. Uh, in the meantime, how can persons who um, are students of this be a part of this? And is it also to you and UTEC and the um, tertiary campuses, or, or is it just a week club? So right now, it starts in UE, so it's just a UE club, but we are doing some communications with the African Cultural Renaissance Movement, that's the African club, so to speak, at UTEC. Mm-hmm. So we were looking forward to collaborating with them, so right now we're in communication. Yes. All right. That sounds good. And how can persons contact you for persons who want to be um, part, members of the club? Of the movement. Well, we have an FB page and we also have a Twitter page. So people can follow us on Twitter and like our FB page and communicate with us through those two mediums. Okay. And the FB and the Twitter page is of Africa. Just that. Yeah. That's, it, hold on. That's your Twitter? That's your is it Twitter? Or Facebook? Oh, both. No, for both? For both yes. Facebook, it's? South Africa. Africa. Okay, all right. With her? A-R-S-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-E-S-
2.30. 2 to 4.30, Club Fusion on the University of the West Indies campus where all the clubs are coming together. Club Africa will be part of that. Did you manage to get your artifacts, your things to decorate your... But we're still in the process of procuring them. We're okay. still open to help. <laughs> all right. Muta and Jackie. <laughs> Muta Babuka, baby, can I say that? Right, I'm just, you. I'm just doing that. I'm doing can assist. All right. Right, I'm just, you. I'm just, I'm doing that. I haven't spoken to him, but I know he can. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you. Thank okay. you. All right. Lisa Sutton and Alicia Richards uh, of Club Africa, the University of the West Indies, New African Club, to be launched at UA by the UA Students Club. Brilliant. Brilliant.